Hello everybody, welcome again to the shop and welcome to part 3 of my chicken coop build. Today we're going to be focusing on making all the doors and hanging them on the coop. So the first thing I've done is made the front door. It's pretty straightforward, all I did is I, of course I measured the height and width that I needed, cut several pieces of wood to accommodate that, and just two 2x4s going across to screw them all together. Uh, these 2x4s of course are going to be on the back or the, the inside. So a lot of times I find myself working alone and in fact that's uh, the majority of the time. So hanging that door by myself was a little bit of a challenge but what I did is I attached the hinges onto the main part of the coop first just with one screw and then I held the door up and I held it with a shoulder leaning against it while I sent some more screws into those parts of the strap and then it all held itself together just fine. On the top of the door there is a, you know, it's not quite square. I think that's due to me not putting all the door pieces together square because along the edge of the door on either side it's very square that part there is just a rough edge, that's why it looks like that. So I just don't think that door is made perfectly square. But that is why I left this the exposed 2x4 here for the door to close against to accommodate for errors in measurement and you know situations like this. Now here's the back egg access door. Came out pretty well. I the only hinges I had were Brass, solid brass hinges. I feel kind of bad using them on a chicken coop, but uh, that's all I had. I got plenty of them. And uh, another little latch. Just flip it up this way. The reason I put the hinges on top rather than on the bottom was because uh, should this come unlatched or something, this will just close on its own rather than flopping open and staying open. So here's the chicken door. Uh, luckily for my saving saver mentality, these are just brass plated steel, so I don't feel as bad about using them. Uh, anyway, just works like that. Uh, my screws are long, so I've been cutting them off with the angle grinder. And of course there's going to be a ramp here going down for the chickens to walk down to the ground. So this will just flop down onto the ramp and that's how it will be supported. Again, I have that frame of 2x4s there so the door can close up against something and create kind of an, a nice seal so wind won't blow straight through. Now here's the very last step. I mentioned that I wanted to do some ventilation and a uh, commenter on my first video said it's better to be cold and dry inside rather than warm and moist and damp. And that's very true and he said that chickens give off condensation and that, that is also true. I believe all uh, animals give off some moisture as they, as they breathe and everything. Anyway, I don't want it wet inside here so this is my solution for the ventilation. I used a hole saw to cut a three inch hole and I put some mesh over it. All I had handy was a well, window screen. This is aluminum window screen at least, it's not plastic. But if this proves to be too feeble, I can always after the fact on the, on the back side, on the inside, screw down a piece of hardware cloth or something. But you see what I did? Put some spacers down, screwed them down, and now I'll put this cover over it and it is open on the bottom, closed on the sides, so it'll help shed water and keep weather out, yet it should allow plenty of airflow inside the coop to keep everything dry. So leave a comment, let me know what you think, tell me if you think that's enough or maybe I should do more. Uh, at any rate, I think it'll be, it's, it's definitely better than nothing. Oh, so I, I've got this one here, and another one on the other side of the front door, so there will be two holes total. And these combined with 
the gaps that I mentioned earlier on the on the egg door, I think that will create a, a very minor but effect, possibly effective draft to draft out the inside air and keep it dry inside. Well, there you have it. I put the two vents on. I also put on the support bracing for the legs. I still have a couple more pieces to put on on the back side. I ran out of two by fours. But that's a chicken coop and you know what I gotta say that's a pretty damn good looking chicken coop considering I uh, am not a woodworker. Let's give you a look around. Slight little pitch to the roof. Two nice windows. Nice sturdy legs, keeps it off the ground so you could easily access everything without having to bend over. I think that came out pretty good. I'm excited. The next step will be to paint it. I got a gallon of paint at Walmart. Nice uh, barn red paint. I'll, so I'll tape off the hardware, tape off the windows, give it a couple good thick coats of paint and bring it outside and set it up with the run and that'll be part four so once again thanks for watching everybody leave a comment if you feel so inclined hit the subscribe button to keep up to date on all my new videos and soon enough I'll have some some chick videos those will be fun to watch I'm sure and fun to make so stay tuned thanks for watching and come on back for more.